So maturation is the really interesting phase of the process. And in maturation, you're, you're taking your alcohol and you're putting it into a wooden barrel. And in that process, a lot of things happen. You start to have wood interaction with the alcohol. So it gets absorbed into the wood. And as the barrel experiences hot and cold temperatures, it'll suck some of the rum in and it'll spit it back out. And in doing so, you'll get that great interaction. What's happening is your lignans and your tannins in the wood are being influenced into the rum. So when you started with that original building block during fermentation, and you made the decisions, what type of yeast do I want to use? What flavor profile am I going to go into? By the time you get to the wood, you end up with a whole other level of influence. And it's a really interesting thing how much comes out of that. So depending on what types of barrels you use, how long you age, um, the amount of char on the inside of the barrels all have different impacts. In our particular case with the Real McCoy, we age for three years, five years, and 12 years. We don't blend any of those ages. We only have 100% three-year, five-year, or 12-year in our rum. So they sit in the barrels all that time. And as they do that, something happens that's really interesting. It's called the angel's share. And that means that there's evaporation through the barrel. So the alcohol gets absorbed into the wood, and over time it'll eventually just leak straight out. And when you walk into the rickhouse, you can smell the rum escaping from the barrels. Now, over a long period of time, you start to lose a lot of rum, and that's why aged rum is more valuable because it's more expensive to make because you lose so much to the angel's share. And in our particular case, when you get to 12 years of aging, there's only about 30% left in the barrel. And that's why older rums would typically cost more than younger rums because you've lost so much to evaporation. But what you gained is all that great wood interaction, and it really accentuates the flavors. You'll get much more vanillins in there. You'll get some earth and char, really interesting flavor tones. And that's all coming from the wood. 